Message from the Queen of Peace, given in Medjugorje on September 25, 2022. Dear children, pray that the Holy Spirit may enlighten you that you be joyful seekers of God and witnesses of love without bounds. I am with you, little children, and, anew, I am calling all of you, take courage, and bear witness to the good works that God is doing in and through you. Be joyful in God. Do good to your neighbor so that it will be good for you on earth and pray for peace, which is under threat, because Satan wants war and peacelessness. Thank you for having responded to my call. A commentary by Father Juan Guillermo Blandin on the message of the Blessed Virgin, Queen of Peace. Our Mother's message, beginning with an urgent call to invoke the Holy Spirit, makes us all think that the great miracle of the illumination of consciences is indeed at our doorstep. Let us not forget that, with the miracle of the illumination of consciences, all the members of the small faithful remnant will receive those charismas and gifts that will enable us to exercise those specific missions for which we have been destined as apostles of the end times. Therefore, it is of fundamental importance that, following the recommendations of the Blessed Virgin Mary, we do not cease to invoke the Holy Spirit daily. Only in this way can we be the witnesses of God's love that has no limits, witnesses of that immense love, in these times in which Lucifer is trying to sow lovelessness and despair in all hearts. What a joy to hear from the lips of Mary most holy the words that assure us that her blessed presence continues, even when many of us feared that with the celebration of the fortieth anniversary of her glorious presence in this world, she would definitely return to heaven and we would be left orphans in this time of so many tribulations. Mary Most Holy invites us not to feel sad for having come out of our hiding places to give the testimony that is due to us as apostles of the last times. How beautiful is the joy of which our Heavenly Mother speaks to us, it is the joy that only the inhabitants of heaven and on this earth can have, those who have not broken communion with God and with the Church through grave sin. The joy in God that will one day characterize us as inhabitants of heaven and possessors of eternal life. Our mother reminds us of the true cause of the depression in which the world is sinking, the absence of the supreme good which is God and the reign of the prince of darkness which is establishing itself in the heart of the man of ill will. Charity is dying out. While philanthropic initiatives that increase the human ego grow from day to day, Charity is being extinguished as faith is lost and God is dispensed with. Our souls need to be strengthened and grow in grace to be able to be well on this earth and that can only happen if we do good for the love of God and without expecting anything in return. One of the most beautiful aspects of this month's message is the call of Mary Most Holy to mobilize her army in the great battle for peace that will be fought through the increase of prayers all over the world for peace. While one of the world leaders is recruiting men to send to war, the Immaculate Heart of Mary is recruiting her followers and consecrated ones to go into battle and fight with the weapon of prayer that disarms hearts and obtains the precious gift of peace, which has never before been so threatened as it is now.